Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. Alright, you guys. Peep game. Shaquille O'Neal recently came out and said that his Laker team would have beat those Chicago Bulls teams if they would have faced each other in the NBA Finals. Now, here's the thing, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to be completely honest with you because, like I said, I'll call it right down the middle, and I don't pull no punches. Y'all know I'm an honest guy for the most part. I keep it 100. I try to keep it 100. If not 100, at least 99%. But I know people are going to say what Shaq said is absurd, and this is, a, and this is a travesty. It's blasphemy to say that they would have beat Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls. Well, here's the thing. At the end of the day, it will always look good because Michael Jordan never lost in the NBA Finals. But I say this, and I always say this with caution, that people need to remember. Michael Jordan has never lost in the NBA Finals. He's never played in a Game 7. But as I said before, he's never swept anybody neither. Okay? That's something that the Golden State Warriors can say that they did. You know, they swept the Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay. And I'm going to talk about this whole Kevin Durant, Golden State Warriors thing. I'm going to talk about the Golden State Warriors too. How wishy-washy the media is with Golden State and this whole KD situation. How they constantly contradict themselves when it comes to this debate about Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors and how good they was, how good they could have been, what should have happened, what didn't happen. You know, um, here you go. As far as Shaquille O'Neal go, saying that his Lakers team would have beat the Chicago Bulls team with ease, I don't know about that. I don't think they would have blew them away. I don't think they would have swept them, but I do think eventually the Chicago Bulls luck would have ran out. Okay. I I really do. You know, because keep in mind the Chicago Bulls did go to um I don't know how many times they went to a game 6. I think out of the six championships, somebody put this in the comment section. How many game sixes Michael Jordan went to? I know against um, I know against Phoenix. I think they did it in six. I think against Portland they did it in six. The Lakers they did it in five. Um, um the seat the, the the supersonics it might have been five or it might have been six but that's the thing they didn't dominate in those nba finals those six championships they won they did not like destroy their teams they did not like they wasn't beating those teams by like 40 points keep in mind the final shot he beat utah i think by two points so let's, you know, people don't want to hear this about Michael Jordan. Look, Michael Jordan is the all-time great, but people, for real, I could pull the footage up. They wasn't doing like the Warriors was doing. The Warriors was blowing people out. They were winning games by 20 points in some of those finals. They were dominant. Okay? They destroyed they destroyed Cleveland the year they swept them. Okay? Those games weren't even close. So that's one thing you can say about the Golden State Warriors versus Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. They was not, like, destroying the teams they were playing. They had to play really hard to win those games, and that's good. They wasn't – look. Yeah, you won six championships, but you wasn't blowing these teams out. Most of those games were close. That's that's just real talk. So for people to say that these Chicago Bull teams were so dominant, that's the, yeah, they won, but let's not face let's let's face the fact. Like like I said, 
I remember watching those games. They were very competitive games. The Utah series, those two Utah series were very competitive games. Okay, they was not, like I said, when they were winning those games, they weren't blowing their opponents out by like 25 a game. They were competitive games. I'm going to have to look and see what was the margin of victory they won those games. It might have been been at the very, very least or the very lowest, eight points. So let's, let's put this in retrospective. So do I think those Chicago Bull teams would have eventually lost the finals. Absolutely. I do think eventually those San Antonio Spurs teams or the Lakers teams would have found a way to take them out. Let's just face the fact, you get old. Michael Jordan left at the right time. And that's why we have this myth of how we saw him last play as the Chicago Bull. You know, he made... This this last shot that was like a push off, you know, it could have been called an offensive foul, but you know that's Michael Jordan. They're not gonna call it. So do I believe that eventually they would have ran into a team that would have beat them? Absolutely. Bill Russell won eleven championships, but I think he went to like maybe thirteen finals, twelve or something. Only lost two or only lost one. He lost one. So eventually Michael Jordan would have lost one. So that's why they have this myth that or this debate or some people have it hands down that Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time because he never lost the finals. Okay. It's the same in boxing. Muhammad Ali lost what five five fights? Five, six fights? And they still say he the greatest of all time, where they say Floyd, who never lost a fight, isn't the greatest. So, I mean, it's, like I said, it's subjective. It's debatable. Because, like I said, if you go by championships, just championships alone, and dominance as far as defense go, because a lot of people don't give defensive players a lot of credit, on, on record it's saying Bill Russell, as far as winning is the greatest player of all time because he won 11 championships and won as a coach, something that Michael Jordan never did. So this is where the, the talk and the confusion comes when you have this discussion about basketball, and a lot of people don't want to hear this. The Michael Jordan apologist is going to make every excuse that he would have been able to look. Your luck going to run out eventually. He would have eventually lost a final if he would have kept playing. But like I said, he left at the right time, came back. We already knew the Wizards. We already knew the Wizards wasn't going to do shit. He went there because he was promised ownership of the team and and then whatever. But as far as those Chicago Bull teams go, those Chicago Bulls teams ain't the, the, the you know, let's just be honest with you. It's the Chicago Bull, the greatest franchise of all time. Not really. Because on paper, it says the Lakers and the Celtics are two of the greatest franchises in history. So that's why this, this whole talk is subjective. It's debatable. It's going to always be debatable. Like I say, I know you Michael Jordan apologists that's going to get upset and ain't going to want to hear this. But at the end of the day, fact is fact. All this stuff is documented. So that's all I got to say. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.